attachment styles are not a life sentence, they are your factory settings. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube machine this week. We are talking about attachment styles and particularly what we've got wrong about it, right? What no one tells you about attachment styles, the thing that we're kind of missing here. So for those of you that don't know attachment styles or attachment theory, there are four main quadrants of attachment that we fall into. Secure attachment is one. Anxious is another one. Dismissive avoidant is another. And then uh, disorganized is the, the final one. So what I hear people say most frequently is, oh, she is dismissive avoidant, or I'm dismissive avoidant, or, oh, I have anxious attachment. And you hear people talk about this, and maybe you've done this, and we talk about it as if, well, this is how it's gonna be. This is who I am. This is how I show up in relationships. And really that model was created, not by me, though it is a brilliant model. Um, that model was created to really help us better understand where we tend to sit in relationships before we've done the healing work and or when we get triggered in a relationship. And so, <laughs> spoiler a minute into the video, the one thing that no one's really talking about with attachment styles is attachment styles are not a life sentence, they are your factory settings. They are what you default to when you're either triggered in a relationship, if you've done a lot of healing work and you, you get triggered back into that old style, and or, if you are new to the journey of healing, that is going to be what feels most familiar to you. It's going to be that dysfunctional pattern that you most easily sit in. Now, my model is the six dating drama archetypes. I'll link the video down below with all the dating drama archetypes. And I think it's interesting, you know, when you look at different models like attachment styles, like the dating drama archetypes that I created, it's, it's interesting to me how the models often can overlay onto each other and fit into each other, which validates each model in my eyes. And so what I would say is the anxious avoidant attachment style is Miss Clingy, Miss Obsessed, Miss Fantasy Relationship. The dismissive avoidant would be Miss Lone Wolf, pushing people away, not wanting to um, rely on people too heavily, not wanting to ask for help. And then the final attachment style, which incidentally not many people talk about, disorganised, the ones I would kind of wedge in there because they don't fit anywhere else are my archetypes of um, Miss Drama and Miss Selfie. Like there's a lot of like unnecessary drama in those um, in those particular archetypes. So it's interesting to me that a lot of these models overlay on each other. But in short, holy shit, this is a really short video, but I'm filming this on Tuesday and it's the day it comes out. So I've got to I've got to get this done. Um this is the truth, this is real life. If we haven't been keeping up with the inner work, if we've been falling off the wagon with our self-care routine, if we haven't been seeing our coach or our therapist, we will start defaulting. And so in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in conclusion, the destination is secure attachment and that's an absolutely feasible destination to get to. And once we've got there, the goal is to stay there, right? And knowing our attachment styles just gives us more information of why we do the things we do. It's not just this flippant thing of like, oh, well, I'm anxious avoidant. Oh, I'm dismissive. And so this is just what I do. No, it's not like <laughs> we can't scapegoat our attachment styles and justify bad behavior. That's not what we're here to do. It's to give us information on ourselves to help us have another model to really see and witness our patterns and to, to be able to give it a label. We don't have to attach ourselves to labels. We can use that information and then be better, get better, and use it as a means to get back to that really secure, healthy attachment. If you want more on this and you want support on your healing journey, I have a really beautiful program called Infinite Love. There are free sample lessons, so make sure to dig into that. The links are below. As always, if you enjoyed this, please like, please comment with your biggest uh, breakthrough, takeaway, key learning. Comment below with that, subscribe, and thank you again, and I'll see you next week.